Today I am fixing a Fortis kit that belongs to my cousin's daughter. And what she claims that uh, she went to hit the brakes and they just went right to the floor. So I'm thinking it's probably a brake line. I just have to put some more fluid in it and see if I can find the leak somewhere. The line, all over the place, buddy. There's brake lines on all parts of this vehicle. But anyway, there's a lot of mud, so it's going to be kind of hard to figure out exactly where the wet spot is. But let's get busy. Okay, I think I have found the culprit. This line right here is busted apart. Luckily, it's the rubber wire, and I won't have to replace the metal. So, just got to disconnect it down here, disconnect it up here, and remove these two clips. And then I just got to take this to the parts store and see if they've got a replacement. Okay, so first we have to break loose these uh, nuts here and down here, but they're awfully muddy, so I am going to use my little pressurized water jug to try and clean things off initially. Next step, we take a wire brush. Boy, that wire brush is about needing replacement. Anyway, now I don't like using line wrenches. Ellie got two more. That much minutes. I know, 27 minutes. Okay, I like using vice grips to try and get these loose. Line wrenches just seem to round off the corners and they never work right, but these, these will grab right on. And then you can kind of work it and work it and work I've it. I've seen one of those before. Okay, we're going to pull this thing out. See, now ah, it's working. There we go. And now this should be able to come out. I need to do the same See, to the Dad? bottom here. Okay, since I cannot get this to break free from this, I think I'm just going to spin the hose off of it. So let's see if this idea works. And then maybe I'll be able to free it up later. Or perhaps I'll just thread the new hose onto it. You twist it? Yep. Yeah. And there's the broken piece. You can see the nice big old gash in it from age. Anyway, let's go get a new part. <clears throat> okay, as you can see, I've got the new hose. And uh, the only way I think I'm going to be able to get it on here, because I could not break this nut free from this line. And I'm not about to break that line in order to make this happen. So, let's see, we are going to just... Get this as tight as we can with pliers and whatnot. Okay, so we have the channel locks. Let's see if we can get this thing tight. Okay, so let's just put one of these keepers back in. Let's see, a little bit of hammering action. There we go. I like that. Okay, I've almost got the bottom tight now. It took a while to get those threads to line up, but now that they are, let's hold things firm and get things tight. That'll be. Okay, now we got to get the uh, bleeder valve fixed. Much as I tried, I could not get this thing loose. It is just one solid rusted piece of junk. So I may end up having to replace this wheel cylinder just so I can get it to bleed. Anyway, that's another project. Okay, so since the uh, wheel cylinder decided to break off the bleeder valve, I had to take it out because uh, there's no way I have to repair that. But lucky I did because I found out it was leaking anyway, so this needed to be replaced regardless. So, we've got a new one here. And uh, in my attempt to get to the wheel cylinder, I broke this. So, I went ahead and I bought a new one. So that's going to get installed. And the third thing, the hose that connects this hose to the wheel cylinder, this is just locked up frozen. There's no way to turn it without twisting the pipe. And this one over here needs a lot of force to get it to turn. It doesn't spin very freely. So I'm just going to replace this with a new one. But i got to bend it up first. So, let's go ahead and get things started here.
Okay, so I got the two pins back on, and uh, we still have to attach this mainspring up on the top here, but this thing is really stout, so that's going to take probably some vice grips and a lot of force. I don't know if there's a way I can use mechanical advantage, but I'll think of something. In the meantime, okay, in the meantime, I need to attach this spring back onto the bottom two here. So, let's get a flashlight so I can see those two holes down there. There's one of the holes. It goes behind that plate and then into this one, but I'm going to need some needle nose assistance. Hmm. There we go. That is back on. Okay, so now the last thing, I need to get this main spring, the one that's wrapped around this, I need to get this back over into its hole here. So this is very stout, so that's going to take quite a bit of force to get that on there. There, it is now back in its hole. So, I think the brake shoes are all done. I don't believe I forgot any parts. So now, let's see if we can get the brake drum nice and tight. After a little persuading, I got it back on. It's uh, slightly tight, but that's okay. I think things are just needing to wear in. So now I'm just bending up the new brake line. And my favorite method of bending this is to use a pair of channel locks with some nice soft rubber handles. You just slip it between them. If I can get this here and you just start bending. You got to be careful though because you want to put your bends in specific locations. So I've been frequently checking it against the original. Okay, now we need to install this. So there's a plug back here I got to remove from the new wheel cylinder. If I can get my fingers on it, there it is. And I remember this came around this ways. So, let's see, where did I pull that plug from? There's the part that that goes into. In order to tighten down the other one, let's take the cap off of the bleeder. And now take the bleeder itself out. Which way does it go? That's on, that's off. So, let's see what we got here. Oh, we're going to have to get something tougher than that. You gotta love brand new bleeder valves. They come right off. Unlike the ones that rust on there to the point where they uh, break. Now we can tighten down that other brake line fitting. Let's see here. Okay, let's put the bleeder back in. Okay, it'd be nice if I had an 8mm wrench somewhere. I don't believe I have one, so we're just going to use Mr. Needle Nose Vice Grips to do the brake bleeding. Okay, so that's tight, that's loose, and that ought to do. Well, I jammed a piece of wood into the brake, so let's see if this does anything. Oh yeah, it blew out some air. Let's try it again. Okay. There we go. Let's do it again. Let's see if we can get just solid fluid out. Nope. Okay, that was all fluid. So I'm going to cap that off. Let's see here. Do we detect any leaking? Nope, nothing there. And it's too hard to tell if that's leaking because it just got fluid all over it. Okay, well, let's go detach the 2x4. Okay, so the brakes are feeling solid once again. Not locked up. Okay, so I do believe that's going to be the end of this project. Now I just got to put the tire back on and uh, look over the vehicle for any other problems.